everyone and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 2 where last time we were able to stop Princess Pride and Nightman from killing all of the official net battlers. Now that the official net battlers association meeting has come to a close, it is time for our time in Netopia to end. It is time to head home. But before we head home, we do have several friends we've made here who I do want to check in on because we... One, one, several of them got hurt, and two, several of them are willing to net battle us again. Hello there, Raul. Before we go ahead and talk to you, I am going to go ahead and revise my folder entirely from the ground up to make sure we are ready for this. Actually, it occurs to me that perhaps Raul is not the correct person to fight first. There may be a better option for the order of who we're going to fight today. So instead, let's go talk to... Miss Millions. We'll get to you soon, Raul. You're still healing, though, so I'm going to give you a little bit more to rest. Okay, so Electric would probably be a bad idea here because it's oh, it's Snake Man. Snake Man is wood type. <sighs> we would be weak to that and we'd take double damage. Though, with our Elect Guts, we could stun, which is useful against Snake Man. But I think we're going to go without our style. It'll be better with that. Uh, I went ahead and reduced it to th uh, three, four codes. Four codes, we got C, G, R, and T, and a bunch of star codes. Uh, in terms of Navi chips, we've got Toad Man, Roll, and Roll. Gate Man and Guts Man, two of my favorites, would not be useful against Snake Man. I've got a Shadow One in here to protect us against attacks if needed. Uh, put in as many fire chips as I could that would actually do damage, uh, that would actually be able to hit Snake Man. Put a couple of time bombs. I'm not sure those will be useful with the snakes that come flying across the screen. Uh, yeah, I think this will be fairly decent. That's going to be about the best chip folder I can do. Some of these chips, not ideal against Snake Man, but they're the best I've got. <laughs> Ooh, Miss Millions, you okay? Oh, it's so thrilling. I guess she's okay. Okay, let's do this. Starting out with a little bomb. Since it hits a column, well, it hits panels up and down. Can hit you without you dodging out of the way. Stay away from that dang machine gun. Do I try Meteor 9? I'm going to try Meteor 9. Though there is a risk, given that, yeah, those snakes will pop up and destroy it. Oh, well, we hit Snake Man once with the Meteor, so I'm satisfied. Uh, we have taken a, uh, 90 damage, so that'll be good. Not quite at full, but if we hit full, then I've probably wasted some healing and don't want that. Let's see. Let's do the tree bomb. Haha, yes, it goes slow enough that I can actually hit you. Perfect. Oh, and now we're doing this. Okay, line out could be good. Let's go with the heat shot, though. That'll do 120, I want to say. Yeah, beautiful. Good use of your elements is the best way to get through these late game boss fights. Uh, let's see. We'll try Toad Man. I forget exactly how Toad Man works, so I'm going to step in front of you. Okay. Straight lane forward, it looks like. Uh-oh. Okay, you step in front of it. Gotcha, almost. I'm fine that I took a few hits there. Because we kicked ass. We got a one, but we got Snake Man S. Can you feel the, burning fi uh, the fire burning inside me? I don't want to. Okay, now that we have you... We have Snake Man's chip. I have never actually used Snake Man's chip before, but it's wood type. So maybe it'll be really good here. All right, for my folder against uh, Thunder Man, what I ended up, uh, ended up going with is, let's see, codes R, C, and G, and 1S for Snake Man. There weren't a lot of S codes that were really worth adding, unfortunately, not for this fight. So, a little bit more in the code spread than I would like, but I want to try Snake Man. I hope it's good. Uh, you can 
we'll go through real quick and you can see all of my chips. I have a lot of shadow ones because I actually discovered something about them that I didn't know before. And I cannot wait to show off how shadow one works. I want to say I'm okay, but lying to a clansman means death. I'm hurt, but since our avatar's here, I'll help with thunder. Damn, Raul's basically considers us part of his, uh, his clan. That is awesome. That is a huge sign of respect. The pride of my clan will lead me to victory. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I could do tree bomb. Let's do tree bomb and meteor nine. And when you stop. There we go. Oh God, okay, no, I've made horrible mistakes. I need to be way more on top of dodging those attacks. Sure, I got some damage in, but at what cost? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's heal. Oh god, is Roll even going to be able to hit? Roll's fine. Okay, let's heal. And then we'll show off the secret technique of Shadow 1 that I learned about. If you do a charge shot while you have Shadow 1 active, you jump forward two spaces and do a wide sword. Which is really cool, actually. Free wide sword? Free infinite, well, on a time limit wide sword? Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's heal again. Do another shadow. Yeah, we can just whittle down Thunderman like this. This almost feels like cheating. Look at that. We're so strong. <laughs> we are not strong, we're cheating. Okay, let's see what Snake Man do. I have never used it before, so let's see what happens. Fair enough! Thunder Man is very difficult, so the fact that I got a busting level of 5 is fantastic. I'll take that Thunder Man chip. The second defeat means far more than the first. Alright then, I'm exceedingly glad with how that went. Okay, now, I probably should have turned Electric Style back on, but... It's fine. Let's head onwards. Next destination is going to be Natopia Castle, because before we head out anywhere, there's a gift waiting for us here. If we speak to the official Net Battler representative. Hi, Land. Thanks for helping us the other day. This is a gift for you from all of us Net Battlers. We hope you like it. And we got the ONBA code. You can open the Netopian official security cube with that code. Please use it. This is going to be very vital. In fact, you're not al I don't think you're even allowed to leave Netopia without it. You might be allowed to leave Netopia without it, but it is very important, so get it. You're Lan. Thanks to you, Netopia is safe. You're a hero. Thank you. Well, I'm just glad I was lucky enough to be able to help. All right, then. Now, before we head to the airport to get back home, Let's go make use of that ONBA code. We're gonna go hop back onto the net. Uh, though I should probably rework my folder first to get it. Eh. I'm gonna leave it like this. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. All right. We've only been onto the Netopian... We've only been onto the Netopian net once before, and it is a bit maze-like, so I am going to show the route, as I am trying to say. So I am going to show the route that I am going to be taking, because it is a bit of a maze. Alright, heading out onto the Netopian net, we're going to head down this way into Netopia Area 1. And yeah, we'll grab the item. What do you got for us? Oh no. Okay, well that wasn't a threat at all. All right, heading down this way, we're going to make our way as deep into Netopia's net as we can. And we have a Metar 3! Okay, sure! Sure, I'll fight a Metar 3. Uh, Metar 3 is, of course, the uh, strongest version of the Metar, of the Metar family. 
it is the fastest, most dangerous, and uh, it's 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 Dino Wave attack goes zooming across the screen. Did not expect to run into one. They're fairly rare in this area. I think if we get a blessing level of seven or higher, we can get its battle chip, but that didn't happen. Oh well. All right, coming over here, we do want to take this as uh, this escalator in a few minutes. We're gonna be back to this one specifically soon. Instead, we're gonna head down here. And we have arrived back in Den Area 3, the Netopian official security cube. We can use the ONBA code, and we have access to the Den Area network. Thank goodness we can head to the square and get some unlockers. I need two of them, because goodness, did I miss out. Did I miss out on some items thanks to not having unlockers? In fact, I might buy extra unlockers just to be safe. I might just straight up stock up the full. Here, I need, I need unlockers. I need a lot of them. I stocked up the full. Is that a, is, am I going to regret that? Maybe. For now, it's fine. And let's go ahead and check out the board while we're here. I bought a custom sword from a big headed green sales Navi, but I lost the manual. What's this chip for? Custom sword, right? It's a sword with an attack link to custom gauge. It's really weak at the start, but as the custom gauge goes up, its attack power goes way up. But there's more. The effect wears out when the gauge is full. So try to use it just before the gauge is full. Custom sword has that kind of property. I want to try that. Thanks. Yeah, it's a risk reward system for custom sword. This is the street board. What do we got? I just got back from Natopia. I went to Natopia Castle, like you said. I even went shopping in Natopia Town. It was great. When I grow up, I'm gonna save up to go with a friend. Oh yeah, I saw something interesting in Natopia Town. It was a chip trader special. Put 10 chips in for one new chip. So sometimes you'll get a rare chip for your junk chips. So if you go to Natopia, try it. No kidding. I thought they were made in Electopia. I wonder who set one in Netopia. I hope they visit Electopia. Well, I finished my work in Netopia and just got back. Translation systems sure are convenient. When I was young, there were no pets. We had to check our dictionary just to ask directions. It was so hard communicating with frantic gestures. You could also, you know, learn the local language. One more thing, someone had their passport stolen at the hotel I was staying at. They took the data right out of a pet in someone's room. Yeah, that was, uh, that was me. Th that was me. All right, virus board, what do you got for me? Oh, we got a lot happening here. Oh my goodness. Let's get back on track and post more virus info. My net now is aqua element, which makes it weak to elect uh, electric attacks. What kind of electric viruses are there? All I know is the bunny, so please tell me some more. Electric element viruses, you say? I've also heard of Sparky, Twisty, and Magneeker. Oh yeah, red UFOs are also electric element viruses. I like those guys. Does it seem weird that I like a virus? Those red UFOs are just too cute. Do you know the kill plants? They shoot seeds. If you hit a seed with water, it turns into a wood spear. Be careful, everyone. Yeah, I fell for that trick once, too. A water ball from Shrimpy hit one, and man, the spears. Ooh, ooh, that sounds nasty. Blew my mind. Yeah, some enemies are stronger in combinations. I always lose to B-Tank and Windbox combos. Yeah, that's a rough one. Ooh, I hate B-Tank paired with any of the fan types. With the wind blowing, the little bombs are hard to dodge. Anyway, you'd better delete one immediately or look out. Since we're talking about combos, how, uh, how about panel types? When a sparkler appeared on a magnet panel, ouch, they're hard to get away from. That does sound tough. The spark series of viruses orbit things that get in their, uh, get in their way like a satellite, or so I've heard. So Rock Cube might be handy in your default chip. Yeah, you can trick those sparky type viruses into orbiting around a Rock Cube and that'll keep them going over to the left side of the field. Is it just me, or are the ratties tough? They zoom around so fast they're very good at dodging. 
None of my attacks hit them. Those guys move faster when they're low on HP. Try to delete them in one blast with a powerful chip. There's a rumor that something attacked the mother computer. And they say lots of the viruses in the attack were wood. An official net battler jacked into the mother computer. Uh, heard, heard them talking about it. <laughs> wow, I would sure love to jack into the mother computer. I wonder what kind of viruses are in there. Hey, don't talk about jacking into the mother computer. There have been a lot of gospel related incidents lately, so that doesn't sound like a joke. Watch it. Ah, you're right. Sorry. I was thinking about collecting chips. By the way, my database is still stuck at only 35 out of 250. Where are all the viruses I haven't seen yet? My database is at 68 out of 250. It'll take a while, but I'll complete it and be the and be the professor. All right, last board. What do we got? Yesterday there was an official net battler conference in Netopia. I saw it on that nighttime news show with Ribita. The official net battlers HQ is in a secret location. I I wonder where. The room on TV was absolutely gorgeous. They let Ribita in? I didn't see her. How did that happen? On the day of the official net battler conference in Etopia, there was also a world bug symposium. They say a famous scholar from Electopia participated. Oh, interesting. Netopia has a long history and even has some castles still. Even so, its cities are global economic centers and lots of different kinds of people live in them. Its economy is huge. The castle has traps that pe uh, people set a long time ago and secret passages and things like that. Sounds fun, I wanna go. My spouse took the kids on a trip to Netopia. I hope they don't drink the water and get tummy aches. <sighs> Sorry, I laughed. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. I didn't expect that one. You'll understand in the next episode. Th this will come back and it's actually almost funny, if not a little bit upsetting and sad. A girl from Net uh, Netopia is coming to do a homestay at our house. She's studying net nobbies. I wonder what she's like. I hope she's gentle and kind. Actually, a lot of those are actually going to be coming up in the next episode. Wow. Okay then, now that we've gone ahead and checked out the board, I'm going to make my way back to that conveyor belt that I pointed out earlier, and I think it'll be faster if I jack out first. Alright, made it back to the conveyor belt I pointed out, and I am going to save right here. Trust me, you want to save. We're going to go ahead and use an unlocker. Giving us a prism, which is an interesting chip. I haven't used it before, but I do intend to try it out soon. I, I'm going to have to in order to make the demo, but it sounds interesting from the description. Now, let's head down and fight Nightman V2, which kicked my ass uh, when I was doing this for practice. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull out a Shadow 1. Thankfully, that'll protect us from all of Nightman's attacks. Oh, dang it. So let's go ahead and abuse that to do as much damage as we can. Stick in a roll. Eh, maybe could have actually waited on roll. Yeah, in case I get hit and take damage like that. Alright, you come back out of your shell. Dang it, just barely too slow to get another one in. Let's go Meteor and Time Bomb. I'll use that next shadow in a moment. Oh God. I'm only gonna move if I absolutely have to. Repair would be good here actually. Oh crap. Okay, if I'm standing in front of you, that seems to make you very happy in that you can kick my ass. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Now let's move up and out of the way. Those come down pretty fast, actually. Uh, yeah. Let's do our shadow. Shadow. 
Yeah, okay, we're just barely too slow in order to get a third one in. Uh, let's do a couple of meteors now. Okay, this is perfect. I can... Oh crap. Wear down those panels and let them respawn while still being able to move over a good chunk of the field. This is going pretty well. We are almost there. We've almost got this. Yeah, I'll hold off on the wood tower since, uh... Hmm, that may have been a mistake. That's gonna destroy my... Yep, okay. Dang it. That was a mistake. I was over eager. Okay, good. Stunned you just before you could actually do damage with that. Now, I want to test something. This could actually backfire, but I want to see if Snake Man works when you're not on the same row. Okay, snakes come out of the holes, and then it jumps into the row the enemy's in. Perfect. I love that. And we get Nightman. I'm going to jack out, and I'm going to meet you at Natopia Square, uh, just so we can recover health. All right, made it to the square entrance here at Netopia Square. Uh, not that way. We're going to take the southeast exit from the entrance and head into Netopia 3 because there was another chip we could unlock with an unlocker in here. And while we're in the area, I also need to grind out money because uh, I shouldn't have bought so many unlockers. I needed 3,000. I actually needed 3,000 zenny for something else that we're going to do in this episode before uh, we head back to Electopia. Uh, let's see. Top of the ramp. We want to go this way. And there's the mystery data we are looking for. Let's go ahead and unlock you. And get a cannonball star code. Nice. Now then, I'm going to grind out 500 more zenny, and then I'll meet you back over here by the hotel. Because before we head back to Electopia, if you remember, all three of our friends asked us to buy souvenirs while we were in the area. Hey boy, won't you buy a Netopian souvenir? Sure! First I got this, brooch. It said a Netopian princess once wore it. Normally I charge 100,000 zennies, but you special customer. I give you for 1,000 zenny. You buy? Yeah. Uh, well obviously you are trying to con us and the brooch is not that valuable. You would not just say some random kid who walked up to you as a special customer and sell it for a 99% discount. But I know someone, one of our friends, who might really, really like a brooch like this. Merci beaucoup, boy. I can't do French. I'm so French. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to even try again. I have more souvenirs, so come again. Er, next, I got this. Every Netopian kid wants this popular robot. Robo X. This is very popular and very rare. I'm sure it is. I give you special price of a thousand zennies. Let's do it. I know who will like that. Haha, -ha, you buy Robo X, you generous, very generous boy. But I only have one more souvenir. Come again. All right, last souvenir is this gold ring. Perfect as a gift for that special girl, yes? I give you this too at bargain price of a thousand zenny. You buy? Yeah. All right, I now all sold out. Well, thank you, sir. The prices aren't that bad, but he's very obviously the type of guy who cons tourists, and, like, that happens everywhere. Every every place has tourist trap so uh, spots like that. Okay, well then. We ha went ahead and rematched two of our friends. We fought Nightman V2 and got Nightman's chip. We got souvenirs for everyone, and we wrapped up all of the unlockers, uh, all the mystery data that we needed an unlocker for. So I think we're about done here in Netopia. Next time on Mega Man Battle Network 2, what do you say we go board the plane and head back home? I'll see everyone next time for that.